y'all. Thanks for watching Dee Dee Crow with my favorite groomer and on YouTube. So this is Lucky, excuse me. This is Lucky and first time client. And I didn't realize it because he hides it so well. He does have only three legs. So we're going to use a dog up stand just to give him a little bit of support. I'm going to do what I can first while he's sitting down. And then when I need him to stand, I'm going to have the dog up stand ready and assisting. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got a 40 on my uh, clippers, so instead of changing that, I'm going to start with his feet. So we'll do a little of assist. It's just gonna rest right there for me. And when I pull up this leg, he can support himself there. That's so nice for him. I'm not having to support him or jerk him or anything like that. And you can see he's, he's doing it real well. He's resting it right there on the stand. I love it. Oh, that's great. Good job. This is his first time here, so um, him being able to just grab onto the stand like that is perfect for us. And it helps him for the grooming process. So since I'm doing the pads, I'm going to let, let that stay there. Pads are a little matted here. And this client is actually a veterinarian, so I'm, I'm really glad she found me. Dog up stand is again assisting while I pull up this arm here. It's awesome. Kind of got some knots in here. Oh, are you okay? You got off of that? You pulled off and you can sit. Well, I still need to do this pad, so I'm going to have him come and assist here. I'm just going to put that under there. I still need to want to do this pad. That way he can rest. Which is, he's not used to it. I can feel him kind of giving me some support up here on my front hand, but it is assisting, so that's awesome. Okay. Kind of got some tangling going on. She said I could do kind of basically anything I want to do. So I'm probably going to do a sit, just give him a shorter cut, and then we can start over. This coat's pretty dirty, too. We'll do a seven. I'm going to go seven down. Because she said she's not picky at all. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and let him rest here. Go ahead, sit down. You can sit now. Oh, you could stand too. You want to stand up? Uh, if you're going to stand, I'm going to leave that there for you. We've got his little sister over there. She's hanging out. So she, uh, Mom said uh, she barks a lot during the kenneling, so I'm not kenneling her. Since we're doing these private appointments like this, I'm able to kind of um, be able to accommodate the situation. So she is over here looking outside, walking around. Well, walking around the chair I have her connected to. That way she doesn't bark the whole time and cause herself so much stress. 
The dog up stand is right here in the way, so I'm going to go around it for now and come back after and clean everything up. Clean up. Let's see here. Is uh, a second. I'm changing with ten blade. That was a seven. And I'm gonna clean up this. Um, I'm gonna lower this. Oh, it is lowered. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right there so I can kind of work with this whole area here. So it's just assisting him so I can kind of clean this up without um, just letting him be naturally standing. Clean up all down here. Great. And then let's see if this will help him. There you go. Yeah. Just under the armpits here. You got it, buddy. Same thing here under the armpit. Now I'm going to actually move that over and get his private area. No, no, baby. She's just kind of smelling around. Oh, 
You got it? Yeah, good boy. This is my tin blade. Got some knots here. I'm gonna clean this whole face out then. Get that really nice and cleaned up there. I'm gonna scoot backwards as well. And around. Come in that angle just in case it gets some grab some of these knots I can kind of feel. I'm going to come back and brush that and then do a guard in there. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a two guard or a four. Got some knots in here. I'm going to come back and, okay, let's do the head first. Guards have to go through the hair like a comb, so. Have to be brushed out pretty good to do that. Hear the snagging, so I know there's still knots in there. We're going to come back to the ears after this. You can fit, see the knots are needing, they're going to need a little bit of de, de knotting. So I'm not going to brush those. I'm going to get those knots out first before we brush it so it's not painful. Little by little, brush every little piece of hair on his head. Focus on making sure you get all of it, except for break it, break it at the ears. Um, stop there, you know. We'll come back to the ears in a minute. See how jerky the ears are? Let's not brush that like that. <laughs> Look how fluffy that is now. All right, come back to video two. Okay, here's video two. And this is Lucky, and we're going to do a two guard down. That means it's two guard with the hair going that way. Reverse would be coming forward. So I'm just going to go backwards like that. Round it here like this. Down the ears is faded because we didn't clean the ears out yet, or we didn't clean out the knots in the ears yet. Come down sideways here, sorta. Okay, let me connect his head back there. Come back here, reverse a little bit, reverse forward. Reverse forward here, right at the ear break. Okay, you can leave it sharp if you want to, you can round it out here. I'm going to bring this around it. Come down. There's going to be a little bit left there. You're going to do reverse real light with your two. Guard. Okay. Real light and then come back again. Real light. Just kind of edge. Grab that. Or then you're going to come back scissor. One of the two, right? You're going to see that in a minute. Okay, now let's clean up these ears. Take your guard off. Remember that uh, shortcut tip I showed you on de dematting? Grab your ear, come down this way. We're just gonna break up some of these knots so I can brush it. It's not gonna be a perfect situation, but it, it's gonna prevent a lot of brushing knots out, right? Okay, I wanna see it right in front of me. So you put your pin, uh, pads, put your hands underneath his ear here, hold it still, know where the edges are, break up some of those knots just a long way like this, you can feel those mats in there, okay. Okay, broke up that a bit, 
we are going to shorten the ears. So I'm going to go ahead and shorten them now before I, I'm going to, why brush stuff you're going to shorten, right? So I'm going to come in. This is how I like to shorten mine, just the shape of the ear. I've got the leather in my hand, so I know where it ends. And each leather is different. The right side is different than the left. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it to where it's round and cute. That way I don't have to brush a bunch of stuff that I'm going to cut anyway. So here we go. Hold your leather, know where that is. And you're going around the whole ear. Okay, so I'm gonna brush that. It's kind of messy, so be careful. Take your time, know where your leather's at. Especially when it's kind of knotted, it's hard to tell where the skin, you know, where, where it's all at. So, take off less hair if that's the case until you can see what you need to be working with. Flip it backwards and forwards until you can see really where that leather is. Have it in your fingers. Because you can always take more off after you get the knots out of the way. Okay. And now we're going to brush it all out. Little by little here. And uh, sometimes I'm not even using my whole brush. I use that edge. If you need a brush, please let me know. I sell everything on my groomer supply channel. Uh, groomer supply website. So let me know. Check the bottom. Or email me at myfavoritegroomer.com. I'll set you up with what you need. It's always good to have the right tools, not a bunch of tools. Brush every little hair, that way you get all those knots out. You should see this Maltese here. They came together and she is just chilling over there, looking around, she's, she's on guard for me, watching everything that's happening. I'm gonna come clean this out with a 10 here in a minute. Kind of give that a little opening in there just so the ears can breathe so cute face huh was i couldn't even see your face start in the back here brush every little hair kind of doing this again because I'm gonna come scissor a little bit before the bath just in case it's our new client so just in case he doesn't like the blow drying you know due to his uh, the eight their ages okay so I'm gonna come back with the 10 and I'll put the 10 clean this gear out a little bit just kind of tunneling a little tiny bit right there that's all just a little bit watch your ear flaps and stuff Same thing here, come back, tunnel yourself, little gap there. Nice and easy. Now I'm gonna come back with some serious, serious, some I cannot speak today, you guys. This <laughs> is cute, huh? Oh, I like ears like this. You can, they're, if they're light, you can see their muscles in their ears move and just give them character. Like when you say, hey, like that. Hey, you can see their facial expressions more when their ears are lighter, not so heavy. I'm going to come and just arch in a little circle here. I don't like the eyelashes. I think that they make it teary, so I like taking those off make the eyes teary. Get that ear separated from the face so you know what you're trimming there. Hold that jaw closed. One more time. Just shape that down there. If you don't know, kneel down a little bit.
<laughs> we'll see if I want to take all that straight down later after the bath. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? Like not even have a little chin there, just straight back. So we'll see. Come here. You can't really see it, but if you look from the side, you can kind of see some there. Okay, okay. Cute. Cute face. Look at yourself. Look at you. You are looking so cute. Yes, you are. Okay, we're going to go to the bath. Thanks for watching. We'll be back. Okay, we're here with our final. I'm gonna go brush this all up for myself. So it'll take it all. It's pretty dirty, so a lot of it came back up. A lot of hair came back up. Got my seven down now. Seven F. Got this little critter hanging out, look. <laughs> hey you, you waiting on brother? Okay, so let's go over here. It's real hard to get this angle, you guys. Okay. He's standing on his tail, right? He's standing on his tail. So I know he's doing that at home. So we're going to take that tail down a little shorter. And I'm sure it's getting in the poop maybe or, you know. So pay attention to while you're grooming, like what could be going on and what cut best suits that dog. He's got a lot of black, uh, oh, sorry, white flakes as well. So I'm going to do the leave-in conditioner spray that I love called The Stuff. If you want anything, let me know. I sell it all. So just email me, Facebook me, text me. I'll get back with you. Texting is the best or emailing is the best. And I guess I got to do a shout out to Josie out of Ireland. Uh, she's about to order some clippers. Thanks Josie for supporting me and I promised you I'd give you a shout out. So she's a groomer out of Ireland. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. She kind of chit chats with me on Facebook. That's kind of cool. Um, it's pretty neat to be connected around the world, which is I grew up around the world, so it makes sense. It makes sense for me. Okay. Thanks, Josie. <laughs> All right. So let's focus. <laughs> Get back to this. We're coming up close to being done here. Um, the 10 and the 7 are really close, so if you find, like, uh, if there's uh, some boniness, you know, down the legs and stuff, come back with your 10. You're going to scissor it anyway, so if you've got stuff sticking out, just go with the next blade down. You know what I mean? You might find that if you do that, you don't even have to scissor that. So, I'm going to come back with the feet a little bit on the, with the 10. So this is a 10 here, and I'm just going to come down, not digging or anything like that, but real light so that basically it's helping me not have to scissor so much as well. It's going down. There's a mat that I found in the bath in his armpit here, so I'm going to take that out. Thank you. 
come back on this side. We are almost done here, I want to say. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this out on the, this video here. Just real light. Um, getting anything kind of sticking out. It's hard to tell on that with that black tape, wasn't it? That. Remember I told you I was going to take that tail down? That's what we're going to do now. Man, I got my cord all over the place here. So I've done about six dogs today already. I'm kind of getting tired. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to come back. I can see his private area really good here with this like that. So I'm going to come back in here with my tin. Kind of clean that up a little bit more. Uh, it's about six dogs um, today, anyway, on him. I still have her to go. And it's um, back to back, so it's been a very, very busy day. So, go like this. I'm actually going to take this down. I'm not going to brush it yet. Remember that, that little tip? We're going to just trim all this. And trim it so when he poops, it's not hang so make it hang in the way and then get that out of there. And that way he's not stepping on it either. Since he's got three legs, this will help him not step on his own tail. It just depends on the situation, right? So it's, it's looking good there. Okay. Now we'll come back. I'm going to use my conditioner now a little bit. Just spray here. And spray his body a little bit there. This will be able to show me what I'm, what, what's still tangled in there. Hold the tail and brush your fingertips instead. Pressure the, the hair so it's not truly pulling on the dog. It's and cause you know how when you brush your own hair, hold it like or you brush your daughter's hair or something like that. situation is different. Let's separate this. Cause you, do yourself a part in the middle here. Look how much I missed right there. Bring that down. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. You just don't want him stepping on it or pooping on it, right? I don't know that that's happening, but I'm just assuming. Just by watching him walk around and stuff. So just easy like that, easy, okay? And he likes, he's standing up for, you know, almost the whole time. Well, kind of on his, on his own here. He's standing up good here. You can sit down, you know. Okay, we're gonna finish up the face here. First thing I want to do is brush it all again. Brush his ears and everything.
brushed it all forward. Now I'm going to brush this up and out, back out. Barely just shaping it out, right? Brush it. Oh, there you go. Two guard, I believe. Let me shake it all out. That's great. Unwinding my clipper. Here we go. Back. Same thing we did earlier. Fade down, over, straight down, straight down, looks good. Back there, you can go back side and side if you need to get anything in the middle there. And there's a bone there, it's sometimes uneven. Straight down, there we go. I got my shaping brush. Again, if you need any tools, I carry everything I use. You can see I use them a lot. The stuff you need, you only need a few things and what you will use over and over. You'll use a lot. Oh, I'm itchy with the hair. Okay. okay I need, uh, so now he's constantly kind of looking down, right? Get him to look up, pull that, so you can see what you're working with and move quickly instead of having to maneuver. Okay, he's kind of looking this way, isn't he? Let's see if that's what he wants to do. I try not to, when I'm grooming, get a lot of hair in the eyes at all, um, which is why I don't like using the blending shears too much around the face. Even though the blending shears leave a very soft, gentle look, there's so much hair in the eyes when we're done. So just trimming it, and you can see me just trim and push out, you know, so get that hair out of there. Barely just kind of trimming the shapes because I'm, I'm not really wanting to take stuff off. I'm just kind of shaping it around. Move it back and forth with your clip or your scissors, shears. Moving it like this is so you don't have to stop what you're doing. And it's just like, as soon as he moves, it's gonna be the same thing if he moves at home like that you might as well have just done it yourself move that hair around okay brush this comb it out some uh, hair stuck in there there's still a tiny tiny bit damp so I'm gonna pull this up here now we can see what we're working with on the meat situation. So now you can take it shorter or leave it, you know what I mean? Shape it where you want it to be on lengthwise all around the ear. Pull that hair out so you can cut, cut it. Tap it, get all that off. So you can kind of see it. It's cute and round. <laughs> hey. Hey, baby. Okay, same thing here. Now I can see you exactly. I'm do the same that you did over there to this one. I'm constantly moving my fingertips where that leather is, so I don't, so I know I won't cut the leather. But see how much there still is the thickness there. Take, bring, swipe it to the side and take it off. Cute, right? I love the ears like this. <laughs> so cute, you're so cute.
You keeping your eye on me? Hmm? You can stay sat down. I don't need you to stand. Okay, one last thing. We're gonna tidy up the feet a tiny bit. Can you see? Such a good dog. Here we go. We're going to just, I pushed it forward or up, you know, pushed it up and then come and just tidy around it. I like the feet pretty short. stuff. You don't always want to do the scissors, but if it's little and you can get to it and